So I want to introduce uh, two concepts that um, are well founded in the literature and I, I try to emphasize on almost every uh, thing that I write, the, the notion of suitability and accessibility. When I refer to suitability, I refer to um, the aspects that make um, a path, a path of travel, um, pleasurable, uh, pleasurable probably in the stream, but, but suitable for walking, okay, and suitable for biking. I think we as a profession are very well versed in accessibility because many of us that do transportation are very familiar with this language of engineers. Two-way streets, and that's one of the things that I want to present is from a context standpoint, uh, that from a development of Louisville, they departed from. They chose to convert a couplet to one-way multi-lane streets to two ways. Now, interestingly, in this case, there was a parallel couplet that they chose not to converse. We had a dramatic reduction in, in collisions. Is there some leakage in this data? Probably, but it's a case. Uh, it suggests that maybe more research might be available. The interesting and provocative thing that I should point out here is that despite the fact that collisions decreased on these two two-way streets, the volume actually increased. We were also able to see a reduction in speeds, and I've been able to do case studies on uh, about 12 locations uh, in London that actually, where they've really invested in the physical design of streetscape. I will actually kind of one sidebar with all of these uh, examples, especially these European examples, is um, the use of pavers. And to me, this is a really interesting um, design uh, dialogue that's a bit tangential, uh, but when you think about embedded carbon in the way we surface our roads, um, our traditional concrete and asphalt U.S. treatment is perhaps uh, provocatively and a little less sustainable than uh, a surface, uh, for example, this surface, which can A, uh, be replaced, but also uh, doesn't necessarily ha always have uh, embedded carbon in the product. The bicycle superhighway, sometimes seen as controversial uh, because uh, it does promote bicycle and pedestrian conflicts in London. That's actually been a big dialogue, but it has also been a huge success in promoting mode shift to uh, cycling in London. Similarly, looking at constrained environments and looking at um, how can we make this pedestrian uh, walkway work, uh, perhaps maybe the tool is to actually completely pedestrianize it, uh, rather than actually to try to fit in uh, what we see as mixed flow. Maybe separation is something that we should we should embrace more wholeheartedly in terms of um, thinking about some of these spaces.